Hey everyone, today on Classic Action Figures, we are going to be taking a look at the Cobra Flight Pod from the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra movie. Here's a look at the front of the box. On the front we can see the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra movie logo at the top, and in the center we see a windowed area where you can see the figure and a cool illustration of the Cobra vehicle. You also see the Cobra logo and the toy name on the bottom of the package. The back of the box has a cool picture of the actual toy, along with a description of the features found on the toy. It also has a quick bio on the Elite Viper, and a small story on the top left of the box. The left side of the box has a Cobra logo and another brief Joe story. And the opposite side has a cool image of the Cobra Elite Viper included in the package. Alright, let's take a look at the figure first. The Elite Viper is done mainly in black for the torso and the head. He also has a crimson colored chest plate and arm guards. And finally he has some red and white camel pants. I'm not too crazy about the pants, but the figure is quite decent looking and he's a well sculpted figure. I do like his chest piece and the pads on the arms. You can actually remove his chest piece if you wish. I also like the silver color used for the visor on the helmet. The boots are nicely detailed in black, and he also has a nice holster for his gun. Speaking of weapons, he does come with a small submachine gun, which looks great. And he also has a small gun that does fit in the holster. The gun is a bit weird looking, but at least the figure can easily hold it. Surprisingly, this figure doesn't come with a figure stand, but he is able to stand quite well without it. The articulation for the figure is quite good. He can rotate his head from side to side, he can twist from side to side at the torso, he can rotate his arms 360 degrees, and they can extend out quite well. He can also bend and rotate his arms at the elbows and his hands can twist at the wrist. He can kick his legs forward quite well, and back a pretty decent amount too. He has double jointed knees, and he can pivot his feet up and down, and also side to side. Now let's take a look at the vehicle. The Cobra Flight Pod or Trouble Bubble is a classic Cobra vehicle, and this new color that they used is fantastic. The body of the craft is done in an all black color with some light gray parts for the cannon, the seat, and the handlebar. And the red canopy is a great contrast to the body of the craft. These colors remind me of the Cobra Fang. You do have to slightly assemble this vehicle. You have to attach the seat, the turbines, the canopy, the two small silver hoses, and the missiles. You also have to apply stickers to the vehicle, and these really do add to the overall look of the craft. The vehicle doesn't have a peg for the figure's back to attach, but rather it has a clip that allows most modern and vintage figures to actually use the vehicle. This was a great idea, and here's how a vintage Televiper looks on the craft. I'm glad they used this system to hold figures in place. I didn't have a hard time using vintage or modern Joe figures on this vehicle. The vehicle comes with two small missiles which are nicely detailed, but the cannon on this new flight pod is much different than the one they used on the vintage vehicle. It's a much larger and robust cannon. The old cannon was a bit too small and could easily break, so I'm glad they improved this on the new version. They also added two small silver hoses, and that's a nice detail as well. Also different is the way the turbines peg onto the back of the vehicle. It uses two pegs that can connect and hold much better than the single connector from the vintage line. Here's a quick comparison on how these two vehicles stack up. This is a flight pod from the 15th anniversary line, but it's the same mold that they used on the original toy except of course for the colors that were used. You can see the difference in the cannons, and I do think that the modern flight pod is a bit more sturdy. 
and the turbines don't fall off as easily. The old flight pod also came with a mine that could be attached to the peg of the seat. But to be honest, I never really cared much for that accessory. It's an iconic vehicle, and I have to say that this new black and red version looks amazing. I'm also glad that you can use it with modern and vintage show figures. So that's a big plus for me. Anyway, that is it for my review. Until next time, take it easy.